Okay, hello people. It's time for uh I know it's been like months and months since I've done this. Literally the last time I did one of these was around the end of January, so uh yeah, mid to late January, so uh it it's been a few months. But I'm hopeful that there's a few things in here that are fixed. Uh also I just remember the races, I still have way too long. So this is gonna be one long, uh, long video. Uh, in the morning, I'm gonna do another one of these as well. By the way, so uh, don't get your hopes up. And also, uh, one thing to get your hopes up for, actually, if I don't do one in the morning, I'll just do one of those uh, videos I was doing earlier this year, I guess. Back in like February, I was uh, you know, jacking around in the NASCAR games. I'm gonna actually qualify for this race. Well, actually, I, I might jinx that, but I also um, playoffs. Actually, uh, once again, at the beginning of February, I bought, I bought the, uh, the, uh, what was it, uh, the playoff DLC. So yeah, we'll be running some uh, nice fresh paint schemes for the uh, playoff races. So yeah. No one really cares about practice. I mean, the car might actually drive very terribly. But who cares? And actually, I don't even care how long this race is. Because this is like the first time I've come back in a while. So, you know, it's it's kind of a long overdue return. Uh, I really hope I didn't forget. I think I did forget to change the weather again. I've had the weather like this for the whole, a long, long time. Really gets on my nerves. Uh... This might actually be a, a bad setup. This might be a stable setup, but uh, at this point, I don't really care. Nothing that really ticks me off. Oh, no. I have all steering assist off. Oh, this is going to be deadly getting into turn number one here. Oh, and it's on stable, too. Whoa, that's bad news. Yeah, this the cars are kind of undrivable. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go fix that. Or, uh, what I was planning to do was, uh, if I was in that and I can actually get it to work this next time. Uh, I'm gonna go for loose, okay, so I don't have such an episode exiting the corner. But, uh, if I, if I have another thing happen at the end of that, uh, <laughs> that corner there... Then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just change it, but... Uh, I wasn't in control of my car for a while. Don't be surprised if I wreck. But yeah, also something else that ticks me off like I was gonna talk about. Hey, I actually made the corner. But, uh, it's that it automatically sets me at Ryan Newman's car whenever... I think it does it for everyone. Whenever you enter the game, it's automatically just on Ryan Newman's car. And you gotta change it. All the other settings are the same. I don't know what they did. They just must be really fond of Ryan Newman. The Ryan Newman farewell tour, we can call it. Yeah, uh, I think I was supposed to get somewhere around like a 52 second lap or something. At least that's what it was like in the Heat games. Those weren't necessarily known for being the most realistic. Oh yeah, I'm not getting no 52 seconds. And the mo Yeah, oh, but what I was going to say before though is I'm going to just change it to a regular setup in there. Yeah, it's back of the field. Oh god, it's 40th. I was four seconds, but I was the slowest car. Oh, and I have it on the I have it on the hardest difficulty bump. Man, I set it to extreme difficulty because I was at a super speedway race and I wanted and I had to automatically start on pole thing and I wanted it to be more competitive. God damn this game and it's super easy super speedway racing. But hard racing literally everywhere else. I'm gonna skip everything. I don't really care too much about the pre race. But, uh, that steering assist is going back on. Everything else seems to be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll be pretty mad, honestly, if the AIs are, uh, as hard as I think they're gonna be. And again, last time we were here at Pocono, uh, it wasn't even, a. Career race like this is. 
Oh, I'm not trying to kill people now. Also, why is Brendan gone in this race? Shouldn't that be Noah Gragson? The actual driver of the... Yeah, I, I'm gonna go change that. Uh, this is, really was a waste of time then. Uh, any waste of effort. That qualifying lap actually took effort. But yeah, that was just a waste of time and effort there. And what do you know? I... That's... I'm keeping that. Can I not put the weather at dynamic? And also, how come I can't change the settings from there? How come I gotta go into here? But yeah, look, it's Ryan Newman's car. Every single time, I go back out. Why was... I just gotta go back to veteran. That's what I've been on this whole time. Well, actually, a lot of the time I was actually on a champion. But, you know... Pocono, Pocono's a bad track for me, okay? Those of you who, especially if you've known me throughout my, uh, ch old channels with the NASCAR Heat 4 days, you'll know I hate Pocono. I also hate wasting a whole bunch of time, and I, I might actually just go into the f YouTube studio and edit this first part out, because this is irritating. If someone's gonna watch this, which no one's gonna watch this anyways, but you don't wanna just be like, if you're... <sighs> If you're taking a crap on the toilet and you want to watch a video, like in like 10 years or whatever, I'm watching this video back. I don't want to just be looking at a bunch of loading screens, is what I'm saying. They gotta like, I'll make the settings a little bit more, you know, accessible. As in, I shouldn't have to go into a whole different, I shouldn't have to change, swap between four or five menus just to get to the... I'm turning the, uh, I'm turning the steering assist back off. Because I actually want to have a challenge during the qualifying lap. Uh. Is this practice? This is practice, right? Wait, no. The rate... Oh, I already qualified. Okay, so... I... I can't catch a break. Like, Jesus Christ. First, it's the... Yeah, that stuff. And now, I'm in... I'm in no steering assist in the actual race. At least I'm catching up, but... Wait, why am I why am I not catching as fast as I should be? Actually no, I'm just gotta wait till we get to the tunnel turn. Oh, this is gonna suck real bad. This one's gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. That should've hurt, and it's going to. Whoa, I got saved. No I didn't, it's gonna hurt. Oh, that's an airborne wreck too. Okay. Also I wish there were DNFs in this game. Uh I hear people say there's DNFs, there's not. I can confirm it to you with that. Okay, uh, can I, can I, can I go back out so I'm... No, I don't, no one cares. Just, oh yeah, another thing, if a caution comes out, you gotta wait like 10 minutes to go through all the menus for it to, to be able to go back to the, uh, to be able to restart the race. If you get wrecked at the end of a stage, or more frequently... If you, uh, wreck yourself at the end of a stage, and then, uh, blame the AIs for it, as, uh, I notice a lot of people, including I used to do. I mean, at this point, I've just learned to, okay, this is, oh, I'm gonna try low for the first time in a while, yeah. Actually, no, I've never tried low, I've been on, everyone's suggesting medium. I, I just want to get this race over with at this point, man, like, this is just a little too ridiculous. Oh, and I'm gonna, the game's gonna intentionally screw me by making me have a bad start. Oh, God. I forgot, like, real rad man. The, the, they're all, everyone was talking about how the car steers itself. Also, it does that with steering assist off, too. And that is the reason I don't do that. Uh, can I not do the, no, for crying out loud. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go back into normal settings. This is... This race has been way too much of an experiment. First, the, uh... All, every, all the traction stuff was off. Well, the steering assist. I 
I'm just gonna be on that because that's uh, a little bit more negotiable uh, I I really wish you could restart you could like redo practice or qualifying because me qualifying in the back because I was using the wrong settings and I was slipping and sliding out of every single corner kind of stinks I'm gonna end up finishing 33rd or worse because okay I'm just gonna try to run a lap uh, this car why is it so tight I have it on loose and I assure you it's not because I sent it through the corner because I didn't send it to the corner I was off the throttle I have to hit the brakes or something now my car's probably got front-end damage if I have damage turned on because uh, I will like I said before I haven't even used I haven't touched career mode since uh, mid January so uh, I was basically screwing around for the whole last month and a half or actually two months at this point the whole last two months <laughs> with the settings and stuff trying to make it drive really weirdly or realistically or whatever and uh, well you know you don't really want to do that when you're trying to get career progression that's when you will want to get actual progression not when you want to get the game over with oh no 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 um, I should have died yeah, why don't we talk about the positives again like uh like I was talking about before the uh, I'm gonna have playoff paint scheme because I have the playoff DLC now I wish David Reagan would just pass me or let me pass him well still worked out oh yeah I get to send it in on Cody Ware yeah, how'd you like that Atlanta crash buddy let's not die I said shake rattle and roll I said shake rattle and roll I said spin hit the wall and flip or spin hit the wall and roll yeah uh, I, I think that was 100% accurate prediction by the way for finishing 33rd because I'm 35th right now and I see absolutely no way of catching these cars ahead of me I sent it that time <laughs> that time you would have been correct to say I sent it I sent it that time oh I'm excited for Daytona let me tell you both I'm excited for Talladega in real life actually I was like petrified of super speedway racing because of Ryan Newman all the way up until like last year and then this year I don't know it was just like that Atlanta thing is just I just knowing the cars aren't really gonna get airborne unless they slide backwards which is usually the opposite they're not gonna get backwards they're they're, they're not gonna get backwards they're they're gonna flip from literally everything except okay that's the stage uh nobody's nobody's gonna pit why does it automatically put it on yes what if I accidentally click that and then I accidentally go through all the pit options okay here we go three two one green flag boogity 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 let's go rocking and rolling people yeah except it should be let's go do some flipping and rolling people oh yeah that reminds me for the coke zero sugar 400 last year if I hadn't said rocking and rolling people in the uh, Daytona Xfinity race I didn't even mean to say that I was planning literally the whole at least like last two or three days before the race happened I was literally plotting it out planning to planning what I was gonna say at the beginning I was gonna say let's do some flipping and rolling people yeah but then I ended up saying a, a very very close variation to that in the Xfinity race uh, I don't know why I'm talking about what boogie I do hey I might finish better than 33rd then again, I'm still side by side with a car, a Rick Ware car. Yeah, and stuff like that's gonna happen. Let's see, if this were the end of the race, would I beat my teammate Chase Briscoe to the line? No, because I hit the wall. That's what happened last time I was here. You guys remember that video, right? I was Bobby Labonte. Last turn, I, I had the smallest little shot to catch Logano, and even the little bit of shot I had there, I screwed away by hitting the wall. But yeah, I'm on uh, loose right now, so I... I just feel like the car should be able to turn a little bit better than it does right now. I really wish you could make pit stops in this game as well without going multiple laps down. I wish there were a way to unlap yourself in this game too without going multiple more laps down. You gotta do like the Danny Hamlin Talladega route, which is just like eliminate the competition at this point. Like you could. Actually, all you can do just the Danny Hamlin Talladega 2021 route though. Like, seriously, you just like. 
just like mess around at the front act like you're there also uh there's seven laps this stage and there are only three last stage that adds up to a total of 11 laps in stages and yeah I'm, I, I was letting off the gas way before we got in the corner I'm still fairly close to the wall for at least for those circumstances also the reason I don't upload too much anymore is not uh well I recently got my stuff back which is good so that means I can but uh on my tablet the YouTube app it's showing me the network error 400 not the whole app just that one just this account like I, I go to switch accounts like first it's just not signed in because that's my default account and then I go to accounts and it has an error 400 tap to retry thing over over the uh well this channel so I don't know what it is but and I, I can't like it's an old version I can't download the new version because the new version literally doesn't work once again I'm gonna have to ask my parents about getting me a Actually, they said that they're not going to get me a new, like, like a phone or anything. So I'm stuck with this tablet that's made for eight-year-olds. Fortunately, I'm going to make a video about this, by the way, but, uh, I'm, like, 90% sure a Squire Classic 5 Telecaster is in my future. The butterscotch blonde color. Because Jeff and I went to the, uh, guitar shop close to the house and we went looking around Jeff asked me which one I wanted I saw this Telecaster up there which uh you know I'm a Beatles fan and stuff George Harrison played a Rosewood Telecaster uh, also you know I'm just a rock and roll fan a good old time rock and roll fan in general also this is getting stupid my own teammate almost hooked me into the wall I was the one who lost in that battle I'm 10 positions up higher than I predicted I would uh, finish in this race. So things are actually going pretty swell. Not gonna lie. When was the last time I won? Actually, it wasn't that long ago. It was like two races ago. Was it at Sonoma? <laughs> oh god, we can't forget that. I wish they had Auto Club in this game. Because every single time they race at a track, I get inspired to go do my own race at that track. Just like whenever I'm at the airport... I get inspired to uh, build this airport in my in this room, which actually I uh, started doing back in 2000. And, like it was a while ago, it was like 2016 or 2015, maybe even before that. But yeah, I then just make the jets do whatever they did in real life. Basically, Jeff and I just play play around like little kids with the with this little airport we got here. Notice I'm talking about stuff that's completely irrelevant, cause nothing's happening. I'm 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 not catching anybody, but at the same time nobody's catching me. It's like you got these guys up here, then you got me on an island by myself. Then you got the guys behind me. Whew. I think I could actually catch Kurt Busch before the end of the stage. If I do, I'm gonna want to catch up to uh. If I get to the point where I've caught up to Ryan Newman, I want to get the car in, in front of him. Because I want to be in the, uh, inside lane. And yes, you, you understand correctly. This me I am saying that I will, uh, give up a position just to restart on the inside. Is that if I can catch Kurt, if I can catch one of these cars, but not, not like... I can't catch two. Oh, that's perfect scenario. This is gonna be wild though, coming to the stage ending. Will they give me room? Barely. Oh, this is tight. This is real tight. This is real tight. Okay, it's me against Kurt to the stage. They're not gonna let us finish it. They didn't let us finish it. Same thing as in NASCAR Heat. But I got the position on Kurt. Still no stage points, but I don't think that matters in this day and age, except yes it does. Actually, that's the main thing. Hey, Jaden finally sent me a chat. It's been like 
eight hundred billion trillion years. Looks like she got her phone back. Hey, Ryan Newman, guaranteed rate. Oh, boogity, slowity, dang it! I I need another shot at that. No, I need I need another shot at that, man. Every time they do that, I'm not expecting it. It's like I always need another shot at it, and I usually end up getting it actually, because either I wreck someone intentionally, or it happens when I'm running a uh, no steering assist, and I end up wrecking myself. But yeah, I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make a video about super speedway racing in the morning. In uh, whoa, in this game, you know, like those videos I do. You know how much I hate the outside lane, and that shows it. God, if I could have just, if Busher would have just not moved down, just move up. Jesus Christ. Uh, we're all, everyone, especially everyone in my house, is lucky I'm making this video. Cause if you know anything about me in real life, which not a lot of people actually do, especially people that watch my online videos, <laughs> they, uh, they probably don't know that, uh, I'm, I'm usually kind of Kyle Bushing, Kyle Bush radioactiving this whole thing. Oh, I got a second shot at it, looks like, although it was under green. Will you guys let me push, please? Yeah, they just moved down heading in the tunnel turn, thinking I want to go high. Nobody wants to go high. And then again, that's exactly why they do that, because they don't want to go high. But they don't have to worry about making mistakes like that, because the game's programmed in favor of the AIs. All I know is I'm excited for the super speedway races on the schedule, because those are the tracks where I really shine. I can go into expert AI difficulty with no problem at all. I can start on pole. I can start out back anywhere. There's nothing to lack. Well, you can knock me down, step on my face, slander my car all over the wall. Thanks, Austin. I appreciate that. All the cars I just fucking passed. I really feel like bringing out a caution on purpose to screw Austin Dillon. I'm not trying to do it on purpose that time. That time I'm just trying to get under... Trying to assure a, an inside lane. Hey, if... if I'm not going to try to wreck him. I'm just going to try to give him a little heads up. But uh, if I end up... If Austin Dillon ends up wrecking and we get a caution, well, it's his own fault. Cause he's the one who. As much as I want to push Kurt to the lead, you know what? I'll do it. I was gonna push Austin Dillon though, but not in a good way. I mean to like show him that I don't like his mannerisms. Oh, they check up a lot in turn one. I mean, I think everybody knows that the AI just check up for no reason a lot in this game. Yeah, but this act this race actually isn't too long. I mean, it's not like super, super long, super duper long. It's a comfortable distance, I guess. I had to hit the brakes. Jesus Christ. I have not had to slam on the brakes like that since Watkins Glen. Or in this game, Sonoma, I guess. Well, in career mode, because I went to Watkins Glen like yesterday in this game. I'm halting my progress to give Austin Dillon the slap back. I'm gonna put him in the wall. I want. I really want to put him in the wall. Stop! I'm putting you in the wall, Austin. Come on! Nothing wrong with me wanting to put you in the wall, right? There he goes. Oh, he actually wrecked. I I was joking when I said that. I didn't want to actually wreck him. Dang. All right, green flag. If I if I win this race, uh, that's not cheating, okay? That's simply getting an opportunity out of revenge. Also, uh, the side draft is slowing both of us down, so it was not a good move on my part. That was a nice slingshot until McDowell. Well, until I ran in the back of McDowell. You can't even blame it on the. Oh no, there's a two-lap shootout. Crap. Austin is going to do the Daniel Suarez on me in the last turn. Funny enough, Suarez did it to Austin Dillon. But yeah, it's going to happen if uh, if he catches up. So I'm going to have to do 
the best in my power to keep him out of my way. Ah, who do I push? Nobody. Every man for himself. God, this car just chose the absolute wrong time to drive bad. Like, it was driving, it was honestly driving a lot better than this earlier in the race. So I don't know if it's like the pressure getting to me or something, you know. Like, oh, you got to do good at the end of the race. The beginning of the race doesn't matter, but. Ross Chastain, I didn't know he drove a McDonald's here. And I'm a sponsors guy. I'm more of a sponsors guy than Ryan Blaney. I'm literally over here, like, telling you every single sponsor, every single primary and secondary sponsor on every car from every single, especially old super speedway race. And by old, I mean like when I was in 6th grade, so 2019 and 2020. Whoa! Ah, Chastain! I better not lose positions. Ah! Me and Chastain, me and Chastain, me and Chastain! It's Ross, he got it. Oh, that was actually pretty, that was actually kind of cool. That we did that down to the finish. Wow. Alright, uh, Chastain beat me by, oh, just a little bit, too. It's not... Well, it's like three tenths. Not three tenths. Three hundredths, so. It was like pretty obvious when we crossed the line he was ahead, but. Boy, I thought that wall shot, I honestly thought that did it for me. Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh. Yeah, okay, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna look at the replay for that, that was, uh, tiring enough as it is, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do some actual fun stuff with my life now, even though I don't really have too much of a life, at least that's what my friends say, oh, God, we got the next Pocono, 